Meanwhile, in what has been dubbed as a landmark moment for India's private space sector, the Indian Space Research Organization launched its first privately built rocket. The rocket named Vikram S lifted off at roughly about 11.30 a.m. local time from the southern India's Satish Dhawan Space Center. Now, Vikram S soared to an altitude of about 81 kilometers to upper Earth atmosphere before splashing down in less than five minutes. The launch marks the foray of private sector into the country's space industry, which was opened by private which was opened for the private players by the central government in 2020. Now, Vikram S was developed by a four-year-old Indian startup called Skyroot Aerospace. In the mission titled Prarambh or The Beginning, it carried three payloads that were built by the local startups in Space Tech India. The rocket is said to be one of the world's first few that is made of all composite rockets that was printed with uh, 3D printing for the solid spin thrusters and the launch demonstrated the flight, the avionic systems in the Vikram series which also included telemetry, global positioning systems, data acquisition and power systems. And we have a successful And also our correspondent Siddharth spoke to Skarut Aerospace's co-founder Pavan Chandana listening to what he had to say. What are the valuable lessons you learned from this particular test that you can carry on for future launches? Absolutely. It shows how difficult it is building rockets, you know, and how difficult it is launching a rocket. You know, building a rocket is different. Launching a rocket is, uh, you know, very different where you interface with the launcher, interface with the communication systems of the range, you know, etc. So we are able to participate in the entire journey, you know, from the design till launching the rocket to space. You know, that has been a great phenomenal journey for all of us and that's a great uh, learning for all probably everything which we do as a company in the future. So how has the support from ISRO and the Indian establishment been for ensuring that you accomplish your mission? Yeah, so I mean uh, the entire range is provided by ISRO at Sri Arikota, you know, state of the art uh, launch facilities. In fact, uh, we are the inaugural launch for a new launcher, uh, you know, uh, at ISRO. Uh, and we, 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 in fact, uh, such world class infrastructure was made available to us. Uh, and uh, then the kind of preparations, uh, you know, which uh, uh, the Sri Arikota team has done for our launch is like as if, you know, they are part of this mission part of our team and we're doing it with common spirit for the country success in the first uh, suborbital launch what's next what about uh, reaching orbit so next is orbit naturally and then that's a bigger milestone for us uh, you know because it has a great commercial impact as well uh, as a company and then that is what we'll be targeting uh, by uh, next year uh, october or so well that's all the time we have in this edition of pulse stay tuned to view Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.